Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, we'll show you a game between Richard Retty and Samuel Defector. This game was played in Rotterdam in 1919. Play with the black pieces in this game was Chicago champion. He also won United States championship a couple of times and was representing United States in the chess Olympiads. Richard Retty had white pieces and he started with e4. Samuel Defector played e5, f4, King's Gambit. But Samuel Defector did not accept the Gambit. He played bishop to c5. King's Gambit declined. Samuel prepared something for Retty. Let's see what is it. Knight to f3. How about f takes on e5? Is this a good move? If pawn takes pawn on e5, intending d4, then queen to h4 check, and after king to e2, queen takes on e4 checkmate. So, Richard Reti played knight to f3, preventing queen to h4 check. d6, c3, intending d4, knight to f6 attacking the pawn on e4, d4, e takes on d4, c takes on d4, bishop to b4 check, Bishop to d2, bishop takes on d2 check, knight from b takes on d2, and Samuel castle at king's side, bishop to d3, bishop to g4, pinning the knight, asking a question, bishop takes on f3, queen takes on f3, knight to c6, attacking the pawn on d4, d5, knight to b4, attacking the bishop, bishop to b1, rook to e8. Samuel Defector was quite pleased with his opening preparation. However, I have a feeling that white is standing a bit better. Probably because of this good-looking white center. What do you think? Who is better? Richard Retty castle kingside. C6 attacking white's good-looking center. A3 attacking the knight, knight to A6. D takes on C6. B takes on C6. This is now a very interesting moment of the game. It is white to move. Perhaps players like Capablanca, they would play b4, saving the pawn and preventing knight to c5. Richard Retty had a different idea. He wanted to have a wild game. So he played bishop to a2, allowing black to win the pawn on b2. Queen to b6 check. King to h1. Queen takes on b2. Black is a pawn up. But believe it or not, Reti planned all this. Let's see what was his plan. First move. Knight to c4. Attacking the pawn on d6. And there is another little threat. Knight takes queen. Queen to d4. Defending the pawn and threatening. Queen takes on e4. So if, for example, rook from a to d1, queen takes on e4. This is the position that Reti was aiming for. Why? What can white do here? What would you do? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Reti played e5, attacking the knight. What's so special about this? Samuel played d5. I will show you just one line so you can see what's wrong with pawn takes pawn on e5. If d takes on e5, f takes on e5, attacking the knight and x-raying the pawn on f7. If something like knight to e4, then rook from a to d1 and after knight to g5, rook takes queen on d4, knight takes on f3, rook takes knight, and white is winning. Back to our game. So after e5, we have d5 attacking white knight. Reti continued as planned. Rook from a to d1. Black to move. Queen to e4 was played. If queen goes to c5, then pawn takes knight. So we have a queen to e4 offering to exchange queens to save the knight, and this is actually very good for black. For example, if queen takes on e4, the knight takes on e4, 
and black is even better. So, Reti wisely retreated the queen to f2. Sometimes you have to retreat, to live, to be able to fight another day. Black to move. D takes a c4 was played. If black wants to save the knight, the knight to d6 and white is winning. So we have d takes on c4. Samuel played the most natural looking move, only to receive the shock of his life. Why? What happened? What would you do? White played the move and black resigned, believe it or not. Please pause and find the killer move that Reti played in this position. Did you pause? What did you find? Richard Reti played bishop to b1, attacking the queen. Black queen is dressed up and she has nowhere to go. Samuel resigned. What a clever play by Reti. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.